Hello my friends, it has been a while. I have survived the end of school and the beginning of summer and what better way to start summer vacation than with some new games. So I um, was um, reading about the Spiel de Jars, if that's how you say it, nominations. There were three of them that were nominated and I've had good luck in the past with some of those games. I think last year I ended up getting Quicks and Hanabi and those were big hits with my family. I find they're good family games, all right? They're not super deep. They're not incredibly long and, and rules crazy. They're easy to pick up, fun to play, and they usually last 30 or 40 minutes, which honestly, for most of you know my family, that's about all they can take. That's sort of their limit. So I picked up these two. The other one I think is Camel Up and it just didn't look very appealing, so I skipped it. And oh my goodness, these have been a hit. These have been a huge hit in our house. Concept, my girls love. They can play this game forever. My husband and I burn out after about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. It's a fun little game, great for like a family night. Um, I would describe it as charades turned into a board game with a little bit more intelligence to it, all right? And I haven't seen as many playthroughs as this game, so I think I'm gonna start with this one. Um, just because I think once you see it played, I think, you know, the word charades turns off a lot of people. Uh, don't be that type of person, all right? All right. Uh, watch through this, because I think this is a really clever way to play charades. And it has that accessibility that charades has. Great game to break out after dinner on a Sunday night if you have family over. Great game to break out if you're having maybe a game night and you're waiting for people to show up. What do they call this? A starter game, right? Great, great. Fabulous. A lot of fun. Glad I got it. Kids love this one. My husband, shock of all shocks, has become addicted to Splendor. He will play anyone he can get his meaty little hands on. There's something about this game, the strategy behind it, that really calls to him. All right. I've seen a few playthroughs of this one and I'll definitely set this up. Um, what caught my eye is, I, for those of you who saw it, <sighs> phone calls, phone calls, here we go. Hold on. All right, I turned the ringer off because <laughs> it's like somebody's watching my house and every time I turn on my computer, they're like, ooh, let's call her now. <laughs> Disrupt her train of thought. <laughs> See if she can get it back. All right, all right. Uh, right, okay, so yes, mm, rewind, rethink. Okay, what made me pick up this game? Not only was it a Spiels de Jars, for those of you who saw my Jaipur run through, my biggest complaint about Jaipur was that it was a two-player game. Okay? Splendor, I would call a more complex Jaipur that plays up to four. All right? So this game has definitely replaced Jaipur um, when there's more than two of us. Okay? I think we still like Jaipur two-person. It's fun, it's quick. This one takes a little more brain power, a little more thinking but you can get four people at the table with it. So I think uh, that in and of itself makes Splendor worth it. If you only had to get one or the other, do, 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 wow, that's hard. Jaipur is uh, uh, cheaper, much more portable, but it only plays two player. Splendor though is a stronger game. It costs more and it's bigger. So, you know, make your own call, make your own call can't answer all your questions for you. But I will do a little setup and playthrough of this one as well, because I'm sure my husband will want to beat me at this for everyone to see. Right, but let's start with concept, all right? This game, like I said, I would call it, I don't even want to say charades, but I'm gonna, that's the closest comparison I can come to is charades, please don't, please don't leave now, because it's, it, it's, um, it's much better than that. Okay. The game overview, as you can see, little to no words, because this is a game about symbols and images. So it's about telling a story using pictures. All right. 
totally cool idea. Comes with two reference cards. You definitely need these in the beginning when you're learning the game. After, you know, your first playthrough, wow, we very rarely refer to these. They're double-sided. And they show you each category on the board, okay? And they give you sort of an idea for what that category represents, okay? So this first category here, this little box with a question mark, this could be an object, a thing, or a package. This little one with three people, this could represent a person, a family, or a group. Okay? And these are just suggestions. So you don't have to be bound by these categories. You can kind of you know, morph them. They're open-ended so that if, if you need to, you can start with an object and then using these additional symbols, expand that concept. Really, really cool. Okay. Reference sheets, check. It comes with a big board where the same symbols are represented. The only difference is now they're much bigger. So here's our, the head, right? Folds out nice and big. I'll do that after we move the camera. And then, so this is a classic giant box and not a lot in it. I don't know why they do this. Um, it does have tokens for scoring points. We don't play with these. We prefer a big group just yelling answers and if whoever gets it gets it, whoever doesn't doesn't, right? You don't have to make this competitive. We have the most fun not using these, making it just a friendly game of concept. Comes with this cool little bowl that's removable. Okay, I appreciate that. And these little pieces. I guess technically you could reset these pieces back in the box. Really though, you don't need to. Also comes with these little cubes that match all of these tokens, all right? Um, let's see, what have we got? A blue in, in little cubes of corresponding color. And this is how you lead people on their guesses, right? They're trying to figure out the concept. And using these indicators, exclamation marks and question marks, paired with a corresponding cube, you can guide them from a broad topic to a specific narrow concept. And when they get it right, they win, right? The last thing it comes with is a stack of these cards. Honestly, I think we've played through all of these cards. Yeah, that's how crazy we are with this game. I'm thinking I might have an old Pictionary set somewhere from when I was a kid, and I'm thinking those Pictionary cards where you're, you know, you're told a thing to draw, I think those would morph into this game really well. I have to check that and see. But if you need a way to expand this deck, if you've gotten to the point where we are, where we have actually played through everything, I'm thinking Pictionary cards would work. You can also just use a dictionary and open it up to a random page and pick a word off of it, like a kid dictionary. You know, that's how, that's how versatile and simple and brilliant this little game is. Okay. So what's on these cards? Right. The way we play it is you'll find three different levels, okay? The first is, um, you see a little blue with a little smiley face. These are the easiest, this is where you start. These concepts are the easiest to give hints and clues to. And then as you get to feel a little more, you know, sophisticated and expert, you can go down to red. This is where our family plays when the kids are around. Red is about our level. The last one, black. These are the hardest concepts. And they tend to be things that my kids haven't heard of. For instance, Ben-Hur. They have no idea what Ben-Hur is. So this is more, I think, of an adult level game. Some of these concepts they can get. For instance, beat around the bush. They understand that phrase. And they could actually act it on the board literally. The word beat, the word around, the word bush. They may not know what that idiom means, but they're able to parse it out just from a literal interpretation. So sometimes my girls are able to hit these levels. Um, here's a great one, War and Peace. I know it's a novel, you know it's a novel. My kids, however, are going to act out the word war. They're going to act out the word peace. And when it's over, we're going to say, hey, you know that's a book, right? And they'll say no, and we'll... It's actually kind of a nice little learning game. We'll have to say, okay, well, it's a book. It was written a long time ago, and blah, blah, blah. Um, some of this, though, like even, I don't know, The Last Cow Caves? don't know what that is. So we play where you're, you just pick one of these, whichever one you want, and that's the one you're trying to get the group to guess. All right. 
can you do this with this board? So let me set up this board, kind of pull back a little bit, and um, go through a couple of these, and then I'll show you a little uh, sample gameplay. So you can see what a fun, 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 great game this is, even though I am using the dreaded word charades, okay? Okay, hold on, let's get this going. All right, so here's the board. I'll lay it out, I got my little, my reference sheet, my tokens, and I'm ready to go. So, start the game. If you look at a card and you pick one of these clues, I'm not gonna show you this. I'm gonna see if I can't get you to guess my concept. I'm gonna start with the um, easy tier, the blue levels. So to start the game, you take the question mark, all right? And you place this at the big overall largest umbrella category you can come up with. And that usually happens up here in this little corner, okay? Because up here we have objects, family and group, female, male, work or profession, re you know, recreation, sport, animals, nature, literature, music, right? You, you get the idea, okay? So the first clue I'm gonna give you is that my concept is a type of literature, writing, or book, okay? That's the big concept. The next thing I'm gonna tell you is, I'm gonna switch to a new concept. And what that means is, any clues I've given that are tied to the original concept, for instance, this book, I could tell you maybe that this book is old, it's an older book, all right? It's not some sort of new fiction. I could tell you this book is also historical, all right? This is a historical book based on true events, okay? So I can tie in clues to this particular concept of the book. But now I've kind of hit a dead end. Oh, I guess I could tell you one more thing. It's a book about a group of people or family. Probably don't have enough right now for you to guess the book. I've narrowed it down, okay? But you probably haven't figured it out yet. So I'm gonna switch to a new concept. And what this little marker says is, forget all of this, all right? I've gone as far as I can go down this path. I'm gonna go at this concept from a different angle. So sort of push this to the side of your brain for now, we'll pull it out later. But I want you to focus on something else. Okay. I'm gonna put this concept down here, on this little arrow that's sort of pointing front. And that little arrow, well, it means left, first, or before. And in context with a book, what I'm trying to tell you and what we've kind of worked out, you kind of work out some house rules after you play with people, is I'm gonna give you clues about the first word in the book, all right? So sort of keep all that in mind. We have a historical book about a group of people that was written long ago. The first word of that book. All right, let me give you a clue for that. I'm gonna go down here. The first word of the book is Nope, not that one, just kidding. This one. This little arrow pointing down means smaller, lower, below. So I'm gonna get you to start guessing words like that. Smaller, keep coming. Maybe you're gonna say it's little. Got it. First word is little. You have the book? Probably. Let's pretend like you don't. Let's go on to the arrow behind saying, Behind the first word would be the second word. Little, I'm gonna take a blue cube because I'm tying it to this concept. I'm gonna put it on house. Come on, you gotta have it now, right? A book, historical, about a family. The first two words are little house. Little house on the prairie, okay? Quick, easy, done. Next person grabs a card and goes. So that's a level one clue. It's great just to get, you know, sort of the idea of how this game plays, maybe figure out what some of these little boxes mean, but they're not very challenging. Maybe for kids, maybe for kids. So let's go up here. Ah, all right, level two clue. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, 
So the big category I'm going to give you is, this is any, what was this one? Imaginary? Let's see, what do they call it? We've sort of morphed it into our own thing, but I want to, I want to keep this correct for the, for you guys. Fictional, imaginary, or a wish. So this is a fictional thing. Don't worry, I'm going to give you more. It's a fictional woman, all right? It's a fictional woman from a movie and a book. Fictional woman, a movie and a book. What else can I tell you about this fictional? Ah, here we go. Yes, she's very little. She's a little fictional woman. And what other clues can I give you about her? Hmm, I might have to go to a new concept because I think I'm sort of out of this here. Ah, ah. All right. Yeah, let's switch to a new concept. I'm going to go to a new concept. And I'm going to do, my new concept is going to be, ooh, this is going to be tricky. Let's try this. The cool thing is, if you go down a rabbit's path, if you're giving clues and people are totally off base, you can just wipe it from the board and be like, forget it, this isn't working. But let's go for this. Let's try um, a recreation, a sport, or an act. Activity. I want you to guess an activity. And this activity, wind takes place with wind. And I'm going to tell you it's done by animals. All right. And it's also going to say it is. Um, 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 it's probably all I can tell you. It's an activity done by animals with like wind. What's the house is this described? Um, da -da -bum. Air, wind, or blow. So I would say, you would say it's an activity in the air. I would say, yes, it's done by animals in the air. You would guess what, what? Fly. Okay, perfect. Fly. We got fly. Fictional character from a movie who's little, who can fly. Anything, anything? What comes to mind? And now you're going to start guessing characters from books and movies who are tiny and can fly. And maybe if you're really, really struggling, I might give you one last clue and give you gold. Does that help you at all? I'm thinking Tinkerbell and her gold pixie dust. All right. A little bit harder. I wasn't able to narrow it down quite as much, but hopefully I got enough describing of Tinkerbell to get somebody to yell it. I probably could switch categories and try and get you to guess Peter Pan. Um, that might lead you back to Tinkerbell, right? So this whole idea of coming at it from different angles, lots of fun. All right, the last one on this card. Oh man, these are really tough ones. All right. Well, I'll do my best. I'll do my best here. Let's try going for a new one. Meet, meet, meet. Clear all this off. All right, and this is going to be a movie. Okay, it's a movie, and I'm going to say it's an imag it has imaginary stuff in it. Okay, so let's whittle that down a little bit. And let's go for the first word in this movie. First word, I'm going to give you the clues. Unhappy. Deaf. The last thing I'm going to give you is... Mm, this is hard. At night. What's an unhappy, maybe not death, an unhappy nighttime thing? Any thoughts? Is there anything else I can give you to help you with this? I don't think so, an unhappy nighttime thing. I'm trying to get you to say what? Is there anything else I can give you for this? Hmm, 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 
Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this is the hard one. If you didn't guess that, I'd have to come at it from another angle. But I'm going for a nightmare. And maybe that's enough. The first word of a movie with nightmare. If it's not, we can keep going. If let's say you couldn't guess nightmare, I would say, okay, stop, 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 stop guessing. Let's go on to the next concept. And it's going to be holiday. And you would obviously start naming holidays. If you couldn't get it, I could narrow it down farther by saying, let's say green and red. All right. Okay, so maybe, hopefully, I've got you on Christmas. So it's a movie with the word Christmas in the title with something bad happening at night. And maybe from there you'll be able to get The Nightmare Before Christmas. So quick and easy, right? It's charades, but using pictures. And I think what saves this game from being, you know, sort of a mm, dull, not so exciting, um, is this idea of concept. The idea of, I can't get you here, we're going down a rabbit hole, we're stuck. Okay, forget that. Let's move on and try something else. And then when these two concepts come together, bam, the light bulb goes off and someone yells the right answer. It's a lot of fun, but it is quick and easy. It really is a quick and easy party game. Okay, So that's concept. That's how it's played. I might see if I can't wrangle somebody to come play a round or two with me so you can see it in action. But if you're looking for a good little opener or a game for family night, man, can't go wrong with this one. This one is a lot of fun. Okay, So that's concept. Um, let me give you a little run through next. Okay girls, you ready? Yeah. Are you filming? I am. We are up and running. Okay, so we each have a little reference sheet. We got our cards. We got our bin of goodness. And may I have the question mark? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go first. So I'm going to pick the first one. And you guys can't see this, can you? I think so. When we play, we play without points, right? Yeah. And I think I'll start with an easy one. Okay, so you guys don't look. I'm going to show. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go with, hey, no peeking. There's my card. I'm going for the blue. I'm going to go for the second one. Okay. Here we go. So. First clue I'm going to give you is it's a animal. Animal. Bam. Okay. We could have just start guessing. This animal is I'm going to say hmm, color. I'm going to say red and brown. Wow. Maybe a little bit of Okay. Oops, sorry. White. Okay. Yeah, this is your color scheme. This oh, animal fox. is. Oh. What'd you say? Fox. Good guess. It was a fox. Oh, oh my. I would have said red, black. I don't oh, think. A fox is brown, or I thought they were brown. Anyway, brown. you got it. All right. So it's easy level, as you can see. My girls are. Can I go? I would have done. Should I show them? Orange. Mom. Um. Orange. Yeah. Which one? So count down on the card. What number are you going to be doing? Um, okay. So don't I'll hold it. I can't see it. But what number are you going to do? Uh, four. Okay, she's going to go for number? Red. Then four. Red. It's in the red, right? Yeah. Okay, kid. And this is my youngest. How old are you now? Nine. Nine. So this is what a nine-year-old can do. I'm ten. Go. Okay. It's What's it going to be? Um, it is. It's a group of people? Or a family? I'm going to do... Oh, a person. It's a person. It could be a boy yes. or a girl. This one is person. Boy. Yeah, but I'm just going to... Person. Kay. Person. It's a person. Ooh, it's mean a mean person. person. A fighting, no. a dead person. Uh, a dead person. Is it historical? No asking questions. No asking questions. Give her a chance. Okay. It's a dead person. Why? Oh, wait. A ghost. No. Uh, Fanta. A zombie. Wait. Um, a corpse. Oh. Well, I don't know. A dead person who's white? A doctor? Dead. Like a, a dead. Sickness? No. A dead person. Illness? Um, a dead person, white, and a doctor. No, no, no. Oh, it's fake. Oh, it's an imaginary person. Oh. Casper the Friendly Ghost. 
No ghost. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, an imaginary person. Oh, did he die of like a sickness? A doctor. No. A nurse. Medicine. No. Medicine. Shot. Shot. Your arm? Give us something more. Oh, um, he's Okay, not happy. Not happy. Uh, did he cut his arm or something? Can Is his skin white? Kind of skin white. Translucent? White skin? Wait, what? White? White skin? Not skin. Vampire. Flesh? Under skin. White skin? Under skin? Okay, no, no, no. Come on, uh, give us a bone. <gasps> yes. Skeleton. Yes. Ah, oh, skeleton. That was a good one. How how was I supposed to say that? That was good. That was good. Okay. Okay. Oh, you sh oh the skull. This was literally it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Hey, darling, which one down are you gonna do? Oh, I don't have any good ones, but I'll do number one. Number one. All right, go for it. Okay. Okay. Use your question mark. It's an animal. Animal. Okay. Squid. Nope. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. Um. Black and red animal. Fox. Let me jump fox. Um, Tarantula. Black widow. It's not a nice animal. It's a bad animal. Ooh, and it will hurt you if it gets you. And it's in the desert. Scorpion. Yes. Nice. Very good. Scorpions black and red? No. Yes. Well, then what color are scorpions? You tell me. Not black and red. Oh, no, it worked. All right. I'm going to go for, oh, this will be a funny one. Okay. I don't know if you guys are going to get this or not, but I'm going to go for number five. Red. Meet me. Put it in place. Claire, are you looking at, at it? it? No, she can't see it. There. Could you see it up there? No. No cheating. So mine is a thing. Object. 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 It is a weapon. Nerf. Yep. A weapon. Nerf. It is imaginary weapon. Yes. Yes. Uh, and it can staff. be the following color. Oh, well, okay, it's an imaginary weapon. Do you hold it from a movie? Yes. Okay. Imaginary weapon from a movie. From a movie. You hold it with your, of hand. Course. With your hand. With a staff? A um, magic staff? And. We need a certain. And uh, let's see. I might have to go to a separate concept for this. Um, Get hard. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Okay. Imaginary. First word. First word of this weapon is. Hot. hot. Sunny. Keep going. Sunny. Sunny day. Keep going. Hot. Keep going. Sunny. Sun. Where's the sun? Come on. Come on. Sun. Sun slash heat. Light. Ah. Light. 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 Saber. Lightsaber. You guys got it. Nicely done. Okay, you ready, girl? Oh, the Wiggle. following colors. Red, blue, I thought about purple, doing the colors, green. but I think lightsabers can come in any color, can't they? I don't think they can come in yellow. No, yeah, I didn't think it would help much. What are you going to do, girl? You probably don't know the colors either. I don't know. <laughs> um, Which number? I'm going to do number three. Number three. Okay. I can't read those. Okay. I know. Keep going. Um, okay. <sighs> um, it is a, what is computer. that? Electronic or computer? Electronic. Electronic. Okay. It's an electronic. Okay, an electronic. This is an electronic, eh? Okay. Um. Okay, so square. rectangle. Rectangle. Oh, is that a rectangle? Square. This is square. Do you want square or rectangle? Which one? Both? Um, rectangle. Rectangle. Like a DS? An iPad? No. An iPhone. iPad? iPhone? A phone. iPad. Was it really? Yeah. Wow, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, girl. Your turn. <laughs> what number? Number three. Oh, number definitely number three. Don't look. No cheating. Good. I know. Okay, go fast. the bowl. Mango. Animal. 
imaginary animal. Imaginary. I can't help. Pink fluffy unicorns. Is it unicorn? Yes. Give me more. Come on. No. Pegasus. Unicorn. No. Stop. Unicorn. Was it a unicorn? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be the last one. Yeah. And I'm gonna... not gonna show the camera this one, so you guys can all try and guess this one together. Do a hard one. <laughs> do you want me to do a hard one? No. Just tell us what number. Mm. Tell us the color. Wow, this was a really hard one. Do it. How about... Okay, no, I'm going to do an easy one. This is going to be okay. number three. This is a blue. For them to guess it. They're going to try and guess it with you guys. Just for the fun, okay? Should we wait five seconds before we start? This is a... Food? All right. But it An is... Apple. Like a drink. Yes. It is uh, red. red. Yes. Blood? Bloody Mary. Or, or white. Red. What? A Bloody Mary? Okay, wait. No. Wait. 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 Oh, yeah. Red milk. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Red liquid. And it is for old oops, wrong color. Sorry, I guess how did that red go? Okay, it is for elders, old people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, red mm -hmm. and white, mm -hmm. and I'll do this. It is a happy thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wine. Yeah, it's very good. Old wine. people. Old. Not for babies. So what do you guys think of this game? I like it. It's fun if like you have like a few minutes and you're just like, ah, oh, what should we do? What should we do? Right. Because you probably couldn't play this for an hour, right? No. <laughs> you couldn't. You'd run out of cards. You would run out of cards. What do you think of this game? Eh. Yeah? Meh. Meh? Meh. There's a lot of good games in the world. There are a lot of good games, games in this yeah. world. This is a simple, easy game, right? You could teach it to anybody. Yeah. Lots of people can play it. Yeah, like if you're over at like a party and you're just like, yeah. no, let's play concept. Yeah. But it doesn't make your brain work too hard. Good. Well, thank you, girls, for demoing it. I appreciate it. That was fast. That was fast. It's fast. It's easy. It's fun. It's like charades, but I think... Pictionary? Yeah, like charades with pictures. Anyway, that is concept. Hope you enjoyed it.